Hey guys, welcome to the channel today. Uh, interesting idea I had um, for the video today. I think it's going to be pretty sweet. I found out a way that I can gamble with the game. Now, yeah, I'm addicted to gambling. I have a problem. Okay, anytime I see some, obviously like Super Bowl, we'll gamble on every single play, whether it's a buck a play, two bucks a play, run, pass, whatever. We're going to gamble on what it's going to be. And so, first off, I'm going to finish this uh, grand challenge here because I'm pretty close to finishing that out. And then I'm going to show you how we're going to gamble on Clash Royale. <laughs> it should be pretty sweet. Let's switch up. I'm going to use this Golem deck that I've been using. Um, has the pump in it, obviously. And so, our fortune chest has some fireballs, some mini P.E.K.K.A.s in that. So, that's just a tip on how we're going to gamble in the video today. Um... But it doesn't cost any money, hopefully. We'll see. And it might cost me a little money. Who, who knows? All right, so let's finish this grand challenge out. Hopefully we get a pump in our starting hand. This, hand, this uh, deck is really dependent upon you getting a pump, it seems like, in your starting hand. If you don't, then I found I struggle really badly with it. So let's go ahead and go pump up. Elixir collector time. Yes, yes, yes. He's going to go ahead and put his Ice Golem in the back, which is great for us. He's going to have to cycle through some cards to get to his pump, which I'm happy about. So we're going to go opposite lane. I'm not too worried about little Ice Spirit damage, a little Ice Golem damage. Not even worried about a little bit. So let's go Mini P.E.K.K.A. right here. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. No, Mini P.E.K.K.A. is going the wrong lane. That's okay. Whoa. Did not see those goblins for some reason. I don't even know what I was thinking. Let's go Baby D up here. Let's just try and get the baby D in front somehow. Nope. Of course, it's going to focus on... Wow, this guy actually knows what he's doing. So that's great. That's just great. That's awesome. I love it when they know what they're doing and they're going to rock my flipping world. Gosh, dang it. All right. So let's go I'll Golem in the back. We'll start a Golem push. Might as well. He just uses Hunter, which is a huge uh, defense against... Uh, oh, crap. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, my fingers slipped at the last second because I'm just like, dude, it's like, whatever! Are you kidding me? Absolutely no way that just happened. Uh uh, girlfriend. No, absolutely not. There's no, absolutely no way that just happened in my flipping face. Okay, so. I'm nice. I'm glad that we could finish this grand challenge out real strong, you guys. So there's that. Let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, good thing I got a different idea for the video today. It's going to be awesome. So at least we can open this sweet chest. Six wins. I usually 100% of the time get a legendary with a six win chest. So that's that's something, I guess. Let's see it. Let's get a golem push going. I don't see any reason to mess around. He'll drop his three musketeers right in the middle there again. Which is to be expected, obviously. So, Hunter, we're not going to worry about that. We're going to drop our Dark Prince back here. It's going to be awesome. Absolutely awesome. Excellent Ice Golem. Should distract for a little bit. Uh, we need some serious... Um, let's go ahead and tornado all that together. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, take that out. Mm. How do you like them apples for Christmas, huh? Put that on your wine basket and smoke it. All right, I don't even know if a wine basket's a thing. Who has a wine basket anyway? Uh, is that hunter still alive rocking my golem's world? Holy crap. Wow, that was absolutely the worst battle you guys have ever seen in your entire life. Let's go elixir collector defensive right there, which is a good move. Way to be well played. Yeah, I don't even know if I touched his tower basically. Nice job, genus. Uh, Gosh dang it. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to open this grand challenge chest. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Battle ram, obviously. Tombstone, of course. Bats, of course. Giant. Ooh, actually excited about that one. Inferno towers. Boom. Epics. Yes! Okay. Dark Prince, that's actually good. That's lame. Okay. We don't want no skeletons, okay? All right. All right, so this is my theory, okay? So we have TV Royale. Uh, oops, I clicked on News Royale for some reason. So we have TV Royale, okay? And I come over here often, and I see all these decks going down, and I'm like, thinking, um, 
Like, I see these matchups. I'm like, oh, Infernal Dragon, P.E.K.K.A. He's got Bridge Spam, but he's got a P.E.K.K.A., okay? Who's going to win this one? I don't know! And so, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a gamble on which ones are going to... So, we're going to pick two matches is what we're going to do, okay? And if I'm right, both times, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go open a lightning chest or something, okay? It's going to be a little, like, reward to myself. If I'm wrong then I have to think of something to do. What am I gonna do if I'm wrong? Uh, throw my tablet against the wall. Let's just not be wrong, okay? So let's guess right. So obviously P.E.K.K.A. Battle Ram, I'm guessing this guy has, okay, here's my theory. This guy's ranked a little bit higher, so I'm guessing Yilmaz wins. So let's go ahead, let's watch this thing. Let's just watch this thing in double speed, okay? And let's see who's gonna win this battle here. Obviously Yilmaz throws good luck, drops a nice spirit right off the bat. And then we're going to go ahead and see some pro gameplay as well. So he, he he obviously blocks it with a bandit. I've never seen this. I've never seen this match before, obviously. It would say watch if I've seen it and it barely came up on TV Royale. If you guys have been on TV Royale before, put it in the comments below cuz I think that's pretty sweet. Check that out. So Pekka is boss. Boss Hog, Pekka knows what he's doing. Yilmaz doing great. We may have called this right off the bat perfectly. Who knows, okay? So, pretty good defense, it looks like. Ice, uh, oh. Oh, actually, this is gonna be tough to deal with, dude. Oh, fetch. Oh, dear. Um, oh, he dealt, oh my gosh, dude. These guys obviously know what they're doing, dude. If I could play this good, I'd probably be on CRL right now, and I don't know why these guys aren't, because, well, I know why. He's got no clan. <laughs> that makes more sense. Uh, okay, so he's uh, stocked up. Oh, Pekka, dude. I heard you never drop a Pekka unless it's on... Oh, yeah, baby. You dropped Pekka wrong lane. Dude, that was his mistake. So, he did get a pretty good push off with the Battle Ram and stuff, which, no big deal. Oh, dude, that, that Infernal Dragon is just lighting him up, dude. Lighting him up! He got a hit off on that tower, though. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Dang, this is going to be a close match, you guys. Wow! Okay, 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 okay. What do we got here? Looks like Yilmaz for the win. Yes, okay! So called that 100% right. So that's one win in my book, okay? So we're halfway there to opening up a lightning chest. Okay? That's pretty awesome. So called that one correctly. Let's go look. I don't want to see no stupid hog mortar deck. Um, let's see... Uh, out of this one, no, no, they're not good. I gotta see people that are ranked. Okay, so, oh, this one's pretty good. So, ranked 25 and 46. Obviously, you think the Expo's pretty strong right now. Haiti. Oh, but Giant kind of counters Expo. This is interesting. So, Love Hotel. Whew. This one's gonna be tough. Um, which one do you guys think? Which one's gonna win? Okay, so Expo... Giant, Giant Expo, Giant Expo. Dude, I think... Dude, honestly, I think the Expo is going to win. No, 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 no. I think Giant's going to beat Expo. Let's go with Haiti on this one, okay? Let's go Haiti. 100% locked in. Locked in your answers. Okay, Haiti's going to win this thing. It's going to be awesome. All right. What do we got? Oh, come on. Okay. Please win. Please win. Okay, let's put it on double speed. No reason to mess around, right? All right, so we got... <laughs> Okay, so Minion's coming in hot, obviously. He's just stalling, dude. He's just cycling so he can get around to his Expo. Drop your Giant. He's going to drop the Giant right in the face of the Expo, which is a great play. I wish my Giant was level 11. I have this deck that I've been using on ladder right now that is so boss, Hog. But if I had my Giant at level 11, I think I'd be rocking this thing to the house. I think I would take over the ladder. I think I would, I would get so flipping high on ladder. Man, that sounded bad. Yeah, either way. So, looks like Expo coming in hot. I think that Giant's going to eat through that Expo. Who do we go? Oh, we're going for Haiti, obviously. So, Giant does finally get a couple shots on the tower with the bat. Ooh, clutch plays, clutch plays. Interesting. That was maybe a mistake on uh, Haiti's part. He shouldn't have. Uh, ooh, that was ballsy. Um, but I like it. I like his play. Through the minor, clear the back there. Worked out for him. Ooh, he switched lanes. Ooh, interesting. See, that's exactly what I would have done. Honestly, don't know what to do, okay? Exactly what I would have done. I would have gone opposite lane. 
Oh my gosh, I'm pretty... Okay, come on, get there. Yes, giant, excellent, opposite lane again. He puts his little minions down this time to take out the expo instead of the whole minion horde. Excellent plays. Okay, so we got down 991. I think we have a chance here. And he's going to go ahead and do the exact same thing. The opponent is making the exact same plays. And I don't know if that's a strategic move. Oh, wow. He got a lock on the tower, you guys. Got a lock on the tower. Oh, and he's just eating that thing up. Oh. Oh. Son of a biscuit, Haiti. That's why that was on TV Royale, dude. I thought we had that the whole time. Oh, H. So that means I lost my gambling bets. So what do I do if I lose? <laughs> I don't know what I need to do if I lose. Oh my gosh, I lose, I lose, I lose. Okay, so if I... Dude, that sucks. I wanted a chest so badly. All right, so next time we do this, I'm going to think of something that I have to do if I lose. <laughs> oh my gosh. Or you guys put in the comments what I have to do when I lose the gamble. I don't even know. I don't even know what I should do. But it's going to be awesome next time because I really like this game. I like watching these matches. They're close. Holy crap. I can't believe Haiti lost that one. That was a horrible. That's a close match. Haiti, what were you doing? Honestly. Either way. Oh, wow. Thank you guys so much for dropping by the channel today. If you want to gamble some more with me on TV Royale, uh, just let me know. Let me know what I should w do when I win. Let me do what I should do when I lose. All right? And then we got some sweet collabs coming up this next couple of weeks. going to be awesome. Uh, thank you guys so much for dropping by the channel. If you like, be sure to subscribe. Take it easy and good luck. Peace. Peace. That's a double peace. That's good. Peace. Thank you.